All right, what is up, you guys? Because always, welcome back to the Wi-Fi battle, which is truly the Scarender. And still go up against Donna, who is using almost, I would say, a solo, um, a solo. What do you call it? Um, ghost team. I mean, Rotom is ghost-ish. <laughs> it really isn't. Let's see. It starts out with Drift Limb. That works. Um, that means I gotta be scared about the um, potential of um, minimize if that's the if that's the strat that is. So I think I go for a Volt Switch here, um, just to really get as much as possible out there. Yeah, I did it right. Probably should have bolted. Let's see. Unburdened then. Unburdened Citrus. Unburdened Citrus. There we go. That's right. It leads to not flame. Or upset, what do you call it? Um, I can't even remember the name. Um, so now he is in theory faster than me. Which actually could be problematic. Ooh. I mean, Isolde is kind of. Um, might actually per put up some work. Let's see, it goes to minimize. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Fair enough. God, I hate these. Let's see if we see a bad pass coming. No, I don't minimize. All right, that means we need a little bit of love. Ah, oh, fuck. And bad pass too. String sap. That depends, really. Didn't recover all that much. Can we connect this? Yes! So Drift Limb is dealt with. There's no way it's taking that. These minimized players, I, I'll tell you. Worst there is. Rather, like, I like minimized just as much as everybody, but in competitive, it's just not that. It's not that stylish. Ooh, Miss Mages. Could pack Mystical Fire. Which is something I necessarily don't want to deal with. I realize here there's a lot of things this Pokemon can do that makes it a bit rough for me. Um, so again, oh yeah! <laughs> because that's the best name I got. <laughs> Mystical fire. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Who's competitive now? Definitely not me. Um, I'm gonna trick my skill swap in case we see a surprise... Um, surprise nasty plot. Basically, I just want to take away <laughs> the levitate. <laughs> Mystical fire is fine. It's fine. It did a lot, though, so I have every reason to think it's specs. Um, actually, I would much rather have seen a Rotom come in, or I mean, yeah, his Rotom, and take away that Levitate so I just can Quake. But yeah, Shadow Ball is kind of free for me. <laughs> Miss Magus does outspeed this, by the way, if it is uh, Scarf itself, but I have every reason to think it's uh, Specs. Or, you know, Spin that has poor special defense, so. I might actually um, need to reconsider. Spinner pretty much did nothing, so you know what? I'm happy with Spinner's performance. It did exactly what I wanted it to do, which was really nothing, and, and that's more than you can ask for. Spinner said this pretty much just what if it does something? What happens if it does something? Shadow will do. Not really what I wanted it to. Okay, I'm kind of expecting either Call Mind or a Willow. No way to go for a Dark Pulse. Mad Lad. It's gonna do a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it it hurts. It's all. Oh, it's Life Orb. Could it be a mix set? Let's find out. Not a mix set, 
that's a dead spirit to him, that's for sure. <laughs> Specs Roserade. Like, I fought it once, and all I was thinking is, damn, how hard that is to switch into. <laughs> and luckily for me, it kind of works. And it does make... It actually does make um, Rotrum all the more scary. Um, Cowbell is not going to do a whole lot this game anyways. It definitely struggles versus everything that is Ghost after all. So I'll probably sack this, hope for some Stealth Rocks. If I can bring in my Rotrum for free, that would be just nice. Let's see, Ghost for nice, solid Shadow Ball. And it will do... Yeah, that's Specs. That's very Specs. I thought it did a lot before, but that that is kind of kind of bad, honestly. So now I gotta um, reposition myself. How do I want to go about this? I mean, in theory, I can just go for a play rough because I think this invites Rotom, but also I should be able to stomach a Shadow Ball and pop my Citrus. Let's find out, right? Oof. Yeah, at least I thought about that one, right? Thing is, I probably should have gone for um, the classic uh, Sword Stance Strat, but at this point, I'm kind of in the middle of what I want to do. Um, I can, in theory, take another one, so let's find out. Yeah, I probably should have take that route, honestly. Ooh, boom shakalak like a chimp <laughs> now here's a fart I am not particularly fond of Rotom not that anybody ever is but for me this could be problematic depending on the set um, actually it turns out I'm quite into pickle myself. I think this guy can kind of pull it off, maybe. But I, I, I'm hoping for that Volt Switch and uh, for not a surprise... Um, not a surprise uh, Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, nice. Quake on this, or Soul Sense on this, I mean. Does decide to stay in, so I'm having every thought possible that this probably has Will-O-Wisp. Yeah. And of course we connect that. At least now I'm a neutral. Can't stop this train. A lot. But yeah, I gotta assume this is somewhat defensive. <laughs> Does decide to stay in, which is good for me. Hotter Pup is still gonna do a whole lot, but if I can whittle this guy down, I'll happily take it. Shadow Ball, alright. Wouldn't Hydro Pump be more... Um, punchy? Not that it matters. Please don't switch out. Yes! Gotta do some breakage! Oh! Wow. Fair enough. <laughs> well... That said, I, I'm, I'm not in the best position anyway, are I? Because we still got Gengar who does outspeed. I miss Scale Shot so much. And Frost Slash, yeah. Yeah, that's not great. So no matter what I did from here, it was always a sack play. Oh, we do outspeed. Is it modest? It had to be. It had to be. That Ice Beam should have killed. That ice beam should definitely have killed me. Well, I guess Chomp did what Chomp does, which is depending on the situation quite a lot actually. The reason I actually put in Chomp in this team was because I knew Spinda was um, um, right. How do you say it? It's a liability to say the least. So, yeah, I just gotta say it. If Frosty was modest, then Gengar should have been that play. Because uh, I do not think 
like there were another scenario here. I just got sent it solely, just kind of showcase that I'm pretty sure I cannot take a Shadow Ball, which would have meant the Roto is my only play left. And if this is if this is a Sash, then uh, he wins anyway, right? <sighs> Let's find out. I really don't. Ah, we did took it. We take it. Yes. Is it sashed or never was? All right. So Rotom would have cleaned up the game anyway. So that's it, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.